click Open. Select on Part for files of type. In the Engineering Design with Projects Works folder, you will have the plate, the rod, and the guide. Double click on the guide. Click New. From the Templates tab, double click Assembly. Select on Guide. If Guide is not displayed, browse to your guide part. Click OK. Guide is positioned in Assembly 1. It is fixed to the origin. Save the assembly. Click Save. In the Projects folder, enter the name Guide Rod. Click Save. Select on Window. Select on Guide. Close the Guide document. You can shortcut the Close function by selecting on the X in the Graphics window. The Guide Rod assembly remains open. Select on Options. Select Document Properties. ANSI is the overall drafting standard. Select Units. Millimeter Gram Seconds is selected. Click OK. Click Save. Now insert the rod part into the assembly. Click Insert Components. Browse, select Part from Files of Type, and double-click on Rod. Rod is free to translate and rotate. Click a position to the left of the guide. Every part has six degrees of freedom. It is free to translate when Move Component is selected. Also, you can select on Rotate Component, and the part is free to rotate. The process of constraining geometry is called Mate. Select on the Mate icon. Click the cylindrical face of the rod. Click the cylindrical face of the hole. Concentric is selected by default in the pop-up menu. Concentric is also selected in the Property Manager. Click OK. Now the rod is free to translate and rotate inside the hole of the guide. Select the flat face of the rod. Select the flat face of the guide. A caution occurs that you cannot have these two faces coincident because the rod is already positioned inside the guide hole. Select on Parallel. The two faces are now parallel. Click OK or the green check mark. Now the rod is free to translate inside the hole, keeping its cut face parallel with the guide. Click OK from the Mate Property Manager. Notice how the guide is fixed, indicated by an F. The rod still can move and has a minus sign, indicated that it is not fixed. Expand the mates. You will see that you have a concentric mate between the rod and the guide, and a parallel mate between the rod and the guide's flat faces. Save the assembly. Click the option to rebuild and save the document. Components can be hidden. Right-click on the front face of the guide. Select Hide Components. Notice when you right-click in the Graphics window, the pop-up options have changed from the Part pop-up options. In an assembly, SolidWorks understands what are the most common options you need. Insert the plate component. Click Insert Component. Click Browse. Double-click on the plate. Position the plate behind the rod. Now we need to mate the rod to the plate. Select on Rotate Component. Expand Move Component and select on Rotate Component. Position the plate so it is in a vertical orientation. Notice that the countersink faces towards the back. When selecting small faces or edges, you can use selection filters to help you. Right-click in the gray area, click on Selection Filter. The selection filter tools are displayed on the bottom by default. You can reposition the toolbar. If you select on Filter Faces, only faces can be selected. To remove filter selection, clear all filters. Sometimes a student will accidentally press the X key. This is a shortcut to Filter Faces. Just press the X key again to remove the selection filter. Click Mate. Select the cylindrical face of the plate. Select the inside cylindrical face of the back hole. Concentric is selected by default. Click OK. Position the plate towards the back. The hole remains concentric with the rod. Close the selection filter box. Click the flat face of the plate. 
and click the flat face of the rod. Coincident is selected by default. Click the green check mark. The plate has one degree of freedom left. It can rotate about the rod. Select the narrow face of the plate. Select the flat face of the rod. Coincident is selected by default, which will generate an error. Select parallel. Now the plate is aligned correctly with the rod. Click the green check mark. Click OK from the Mate Property Manager. Click Save. Click Mate. Click the outside cylindrical face of the rod. Click the inside cylindrical face of the plate. A mate warning occurs. This will overdefine the assembly because the rod already has a concentric mate with the countersink hole. SolidWorks provides these warnings so that you mate correctly. You can always cancel out of the mate or clear the selections in the box. Exit out of the mate. Expand the mates. You can review the mates that you currently have.